Hello, welcome to my channel. If you love biographies or history, leave a like. Now let's get back to the video. James Naismith, born on November 6, 1861, in Almonte, Ontario, Canada, etched his name in sports history as the creator of basketball, a physical education instructor, and Presbyterian minister. Naismith's innovative thinking and commitment to fostering physical activity led to the invention of a sport that would capture the hearts of millions worldwide. Naismith's early life in Canada laid the foundation for his passion for sports and physical education. After completing his studies in theology and physical education, he pursued a career that blended his interests in 1891. While working at the International YMCA Training School in Springfield, Massachusetts, Naismith was tasked with developing a new indoor game to keep his students active during the winter months. Confronted with the challenge of creating a game that would be engaging safe and easy to understand, Naismith devised the rules of basketball. He hung a peach basket at each end of the gymnasium and handed out a soccer ball. The objective was simple, score points by tossing the ball into the opposing team's basket. With these rudimentary rules, the game of basketball was born. The first official game of basketball took place on December 21, 1891. With nine players on each team, the sport rapidly gained popularity, spreading across YMCA centers and college campuses. Naismith's creation embodied the principles of teamwork skill, and fair play, making it accessible to people of all ages and backgrounds. Naismith's impact on this sport extended beyond its inception. He continued to contribute to basketball's development, serving as a coach and administrator. Naismith witnessed the sport's inclusion in the Olympic Games in 1936 validating his creation on the global stage. Despite the immense success of basketball, Naismith remained humble about his role and its creation. He believed in the power of sports to instill values and promote physical well-being. Naismith's legacy is not only the sport itself, but also the enduring principles of sportsmanship and inclusivity that basketball embodies. Later in life, Naismith pursued academic interests and earned a medical degree. He remained connected to basketball, attending games and witnessing the evolution of the sport he had birthed. James Naismith passed away on November 28, 1939. But his legacy lives on every time a basketball is dribbled, passed, or shot. In conclusion, James Naismith's invention, basketball, transcends the confines of sports history. His innovative thinking and commitment to physical education resulted in a game that has become a global phenomenon, uniting people across cultures and generations Naismith's legacy is not just the sport itself, but the enduring impact of a simple yet profound idea that continues to enrich lives and inspire athletes worldwide. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like and a sub.